Welcome to Sub 150. I've got a quick one for you today. If you use an external mic for audio in your video productions like me, you've probably been using merge clips to sync your audio. Stop doing this. Even though Premiere Pro has allowed you to merge clips using audio analysis, you still have to wade through the mire and find all corresponding audio and video clips in order to merge them. This can be difficult and time consuming. Today I'm going to show you a super easy method that will make your life a whole heck of a lot easier. I'll have you out of here in 150 seconds or less, and that's a promise. Let's get started. In this bin, I have some video and external audio files from a recent episode of Sub 150. Honestly, this process couldn't be any easier. Simply select all of the files, both video and audio, right click and select Create Multi Camera Source Sequence. For the synchronized point, make sure to select Audio. It will be easier to stay organized if you move your source clips to the Processed Clips bin. Everything else can stay as is. All we need to do is go down to the bottom and click OK. And Premiere will take a moment to analyze all of the clips and it will merge any of the matches together. Now you'll get a warning that Premiere couldn't match all of the clips, but that's okay. I knew all along that I had audio in here for which there would be no match, and I'm going to deal with that in a minute. You can see here the three multicam sequences that Premiere has made for me with both video and audio in them. And if we go inside the processed clips bin, you'll see all of the merged audio has been placed here so we know what matches were found. Now we have to decide what to do with the leftover audio. I don't need it, so I'm just going to select it and delete it. The primary purpose of the multicam sequence is to merge multiple cameras from the same video shoot together for easy switching, but this little cheat certainly makes audio syncing a lot easier. That little trick is a major time saver. I have to give a big shout out to Jarl Leropool, who has a fantastic website called PremierePro.net. He's also the author of the most comprehensive guide to Premiere Pro that I've ever come across. It's called The Cool Stuff in Premiere Pro, and you can order it on his site. It's where I learned this little trick that I showed you today. If you haven't seen my other videos, Sub 150 is all about teaching you stuff in 150 seconds or less. Check out my other videos on my channel related to all things tech, digital photography, video editing, and much more. See you soon.